Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There is plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, I tell you all the time, thank you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel, friends. You guys know I absolutely love hanging out with you guys here, and it's only my hope that you also enjoy your time while you're here. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. Nothing else to report. Um, for anyone that is interested in a private reading, I have been getting more questions about those lately. So if you're interested, just know that my private readings open on the 15th of every month. So, um, I will be posting on the community page, um, you know, when, when the time comes. So if that's something you're interested in, just make sure to keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, friends, let's jump right in. Today's reading topic is one that I haven't done. Um, I don't know why I just kind of got the urge to do it today and I figured these stickers fit the theme perfectly. We're going to see, we're going to be looking into who fumbled things with you and what their regrets are in this situation. We're going to be looking into, yeah, what, are, who is this person and what do they regret? And, um, what, what, what is it that they do want to say? If there's anything that they want to say at all, or what is it that they wish was different? Um, please keep in mind, obviously you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube. So if you pick a group and the energy that I'm picking up on is just not someone you're interested in, or it's triggering you or confusing in any way, those are all just indicators that it's probably not your story, friends. Um, all right, you guys know what to do. We have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into um, this person that fumbled things with you. They fumbled the bag, friends. They did something um, that they're regretting. So we're going to be looking into that. What are their regrets in this situation? And what is it that they would like to say, if anything at all? Um, or what is it that they wish was different in this situation, in these circumstances? Please keep in mind, um, you know, it's a collective reading. And honestly, this reading is probably going to be pretty specific because I don't know, it's something I'm picking up on, um, you know, and the subject can be triggering, especially if this person was hurtful. So please, uh, friends, if at any point you're not vibing out, feel free to click off of the reading. Um, yeah, you know, you know how I feel about those things. Just reject it if it's making you feel a little funny. All right, friends, let's get to it. Thank you for joining me. And thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. My group number ones, who, what can we know about this person that has regrets over how things currently are between them and my group number ones? Who fumbled it? Who messed up here with my group number ones? What can you tell us about this person? What can you tell us about this person? And what is it that they regret? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Who fumbled it with them and has regrets over this situation? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. Oh, <laughs> This person's uh, literally the first card uh, or the first card. The first thing I heard when that first card came out is I'm sorry. <laughs> literally like that. I'm sorry. Uh, someone's sorry. Someone, it, they've been worried about this. They've been thinking about this. They want you to know that even though they've taken their time or it's been so long, or maybe they uh, didn't realize that they weren't paying this enough attention or I don't know. This person's taking, oh my gosh, accountability coming through this week. Someone here might be taking accountability over something that they didn't realize, or it could even be like, um, maybe they know that they have this problem, a self-sabotaging behavior. Yeah. So someone here, there was anxiety here over the current situation. They've regretted how long they've taken. And now they don't know, like, they, so part of their regret has to do with how long it's taken them and the attention or 
something here that they haven't given this or you, or they know that there is something here that they were avoiding, perhaps. Maybe they were running from this at one point. If, if this person was running, that's definitely something that's coming through as a regret. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, you guys have been apart from this person for a little while, or you've been in separation. This person, they got real concerned. So what concerned them was when you went silent on them and then they got worried that you didn't feel the same about them anymore. Or they, oh, you know what? It, they kind of went through the motions. That's what it is. It's not just, I mean, it's never just one thing, but it's almost like they were like group number one. They don't feel about me any, or they don't feel the same way about me. They don't, they don't like me anymore. They don't love me anymore. I upset them and they feel like maybe the only way now that they can see you or have access to you is in a way that like other people do as well, which makes me think like whatever you post publicly, if you do post publicly on social media or if you have, um, I don't know, there's almost like a, I almost feel like you're controlling, <laughs> it's weird to say, but it's almost like you're controlling your image or you're controlling like what information about you is accessible and that's like where they feel like they're at it's almost like they're on the outside looking in even though there's no five of pentacles i'm feeling that they feel five of pentacles um this world card i normally don't interpret it as outside looking in but there's something about it that makes me think that you are on the inside of this like glass bubble and it's almost like they can't they're they're on the outside of it they're not inside of your bubble the other day I did bring up green circle, which is like close, close friends list. Right. And I'm seeing green circle and the queen of wands is wearing green. Uh, maybe someone here could have an earth with a fire placement, very grounded, very stable, but you make me mad. Um, you're going to know it, or you push me, um, you know, to a certain degree, or you kind of, I like, I have it in me, you know, I'm not just this beautiful, loving, nurturing person who's sweet to you. It's like, yeah, I'm sweet to you because I like you, fool. But at the same time, they've kind of pushed you into this queen of wands, which is you stepped into your power. You know, you perhaps got a little fiery with this person or you um, did something that made it obvious to them that they needed to hang back or now it's been so long that they're nervous to come towards you as well. Uh, they could be a little younger. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but you, the collective is coming up as queens. And then I'm seeing like a page and the knight and knights on their side. So there could be a little bit of, of an age difference. It doesn't have to be. If not, it's maturity or, you know. Uh, maybe you didn't get to know this person well enough to even know that they have regrets over. I mean, this could be someone that had a crush on you and they get nervous, like being around you for sure. And if that's the case, they find you being intimidating. Um, there's something about you that they feel is not approachable. Again, they feel outside looking in. Let me see. Um, yeah, for I mean, for some of you, yeah, I guess it could be a crush. But for others of you, let's get different stories for you guys. All right. So for those of <laughs> we have three of wands, there's distance between you guys. So this person regrets the distance for sure. All right. So this is for those of you that this is um, based on a secret crush. All right. What can we know for those that this is a secret crush? Oh, this is someone that you knew because every time that you saw them, you felt like they were going out of their way to see you. Um, I just heard someone laugh. I don't know if someone laughed at that, but um, <laughs> that's funny. So yeah, this feels like it's someone that you already know because they would go out of their way to repeat something, but they never came towards you. They were very nervous. So let's get a message for those of you that know this person and have some kind of history with this person and you did either pull your attention or things here went too slowly. You were patient with them, the ones that already know this person. Thank you, Spirit. For the ones that have history with this person, a message for them, please. Something was revealed. You stepped into your independence. 
or someone here is very independent. Yeah, you're taking a break from this person. You're purposely keeping a distance and you're actually feeling yourself at peace being at a distance. There is devil energy coming through. Let's see why. The one that they know. <laughs> is it the devil? They were indecisive. They kept you waiting. Yeah, this person kept you waiting and you were over it. So you um, you had no choice but to be like, okay, well, they don't feel the same or they're not willing to do the same or I'm done. I'm done being the one that cares or I'm done giving this my energy. So yeah, a couple of things um, going on here. Um, that's funny. I did, I did summon the devil, didn't I? Earlier when I said self-sabotaging, cause I did feel it. Okay. Let me see. It's like someone here has a really hard time. They have a hard time approaching you. Like I said, it could be because they find you a little bit intimidating and they're like, have a little crush on you or then you, you know, or something happened between you guys. And that's why they're nervous about, about talking to you, or they get stressed thinking about what happened. They, they get stressed thinking about things not moving forward and this silence between you guys. Anything else? What does this person regret? What else do they regret? What does this person regret? They feel that it's a timing issue, that their responsibilities or their rebuilding or their focus is going towards correcting something that may have fallen apart, not grown, or something here that hasn't been working for them in the long term. This could be someone that, you know, they are very focused on being successful. Um, in their career, in their life, providing for those that they care about, that they love. They could carry like responsibilities within their family structure, something like that. There's something here. Um, this person could also be maybe divorced or going through a divorce. And because of that, their heart's still blocked. There is something here that's out of balance when it comes to their home or their ability to plan for the future that they're focusing on right now. So it makes them, it makes them, uh, yeah. Okay. This also, this person, they also kind of base their value on this and it's really tough on them. Actually, I'm getting that there's like a mental health struggle that comes with this and they wish it was different. And they want it to be different. Yeah. They really want it to be different, but they feel like it can't be right now. They feel like there's obstacles. They feel like every time that they kind of think about you or what they could have done different or coming towards you, they feel like something comes up. Something I just heard something always comes up. It's almost like it's hard for them to plan. And because of that, maybe it makes them look flaky and maybe they have been flaky, but they could have had like legitimate things that came up, but maybe they're, I don't know. They're almost like their priorities are their priorities and that's what they're sticking to and a relationship or you or anything more or uh, fixing this or whatever the issue was. Um, it's like, they can't, they're almost like working towards being that person that can eventually get there. Um, it's almost like one day perhaps, but they do, they do kind of, you know, like I said, it's either they stress about this or they get nervous around you. So, you know, decipher the messages as you need to be, because obviously this, um, isn't going to apply if it's like a secret crush, but this person still thinks about a new beginning with you and a second chance. And they think about the type of person that they're going to be when it's almost like, you know, they, they almost have this little uh, storyline playing out in their head that they're going to come in and 
and be able to offer you this stability or explore this with you or um, sweep you up off your feet or um, connect with you in a way that, you know, so deep and profound. Um, that's what they're telling themselves. So their regrets are about the current circumstances and things that are in the way or, yeah, they feel blocked. If it's not, you know, uh, them rebuilding or them kind of figuring their life out, then maybe you guys work with this person. And that Ten of Pentacles could definitely be obviously about work. So, all right, let's see um, what what do they want to say or what would they say if they could? Thank you, Spirit. What would this person say to my group number ones if they could? Thank you, Spirit. A message from this person to my group number ones. What would they say? What would this person say to my group number ones? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What would this person say if they could? What, what do they want to say to my group number ones? Can you get a message for my group number ones? That they're not happy, that they pretend. They literally are saying that they have to pretend that they're happy. They live out their everyday life just kind of covering up how they really feel about you and about the current circumstances. And they literally think about coming towards you and doing something and they stop themselves. What, what do they want to say? A message from my group number one from this person. What do they want to say? Two of Pentacles in reverse. They're clearing things. They're working on clearing things out of their life. There's something that has kept them. I just heard like two worlds or back and forth. There's been some like ups and downs. And this person, they're waiting for an opportunity. They're hiding the fact that they want to return back or revisit this. And the sudden change or something suddenly happened that they really regret or they were upset about a tower moment between you guys that that weighs on them. They think about that. Why the 10 of cups in reverse? They're not happy that things can't move forward or haven't moved forward. Why the, their family might be affecting this. They're saying as soon as I can, I'm going to. I'm assuming come towards you. There's something here about timing and them being ready to go. They're saying that things are going to move quickly once they can. <laughs> I don't know, friends. I'm just the messenger here. They know why you're frustrated. They want to try and make something up to you. Why the Ace of Pentacles? What is it that they want? They want to prove to you who they can be. They want to prove to you that they can take care of this, handle this, that they can be there for you, that they can commit. They want you to see them. Literally, they want you to have a sparkle in, in they want you to have a sparkle in your eye, bitch, when you look at them. <laughs> this person wants to impress you. They're saying they know or I don't, they know that they hurt you or. Listen, this person has some awareness. Now, whether or not they're telling you, that's a whole different story. Probably not because you're here or maybe you're just confirming what they already said. But um, yeah, this is what this person wants to say. They're waiting for an opportunity. They're, they're focused on their growth right now. Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? There's some kind of drama or conflict that they need to clear, possibly from the past. If it's not that, it's that they were very inconsistent or there's something here that keeps them with like, it There, it might like drain their energy. There might be like fights in their family or at work or some kind of environment that they're a part of that they, um, maybe that's what they're working on, on clearing out that I picked up earlier. All right, we have, I haven't really been calling out signs because literally it could be anyone, but you know, there, there's a lot of fire here, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sag, and we have Scorpio as well. 
in Cancer. And of course, Aquarius likes to show up. We have fixed signs, more Scorpio, more Aquarius, uh, Leo and Taurus as well. Um, all right, friends. Oh, yeah, I just opened the deck and then Leo's like, did, did someone call me? You rang? No, Leo, no one rang. <laughs> no one rang for you. I'm just kidding. I know my Leos. I'm a Leo rising for God's sakes. It gets interesting up in my big three. All right, let's get you guys some Oracle cards. Let's do Oracle cards, answer cards, and then we'll do initials today. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number ones, please. Messages from my group number ones. What else can we know, please, about this person that fumbled things with my group number ones? What can we know about this person? This person uh, is a little creepster on your social media or um, they kind of lurk around, maybe trying to get information about you if possible. You know, if you guys work in the same area or know some of the same people. I am getting that. We have salty AF. Someone's ego got bruised or someone was salty. We have the playlist was trash anyway. There could be music that reminds you of this person or this person. There's music that reminds them of you. Uh, maybe you could have gotten tired of the same old, same old, the, the go around. We have take the risk or lose the chance. That's especially for those that, um, not especially for those, but you know, the secret admirer um, perhaps. But more than anything, there was strong messages about someone that you would know who they are for most of you. Um, and maybe that's what this person is working their way up to. It's that they have to risk it or just lose it forever. We have money is coming. So there is a focus here on money, career, finances. Why wouldn't there be? It's 2024. If you don't have those problems, I am so happy for you. And if you cannot relate to those problems, you just have to respect that that's not everyone's reality. Um, and I say that with love towards the collective. All right, we have Game Boy, don't play their game. So that's how you could have felt. This person could have had you feeling salty. It was, you were over it. it was, there was something here. Maybe they were creepy crawling around and you just got tired of it. <laughs> oh, bitch, this says uh, real mold divide. Well, no, I think that says real mold, but I always think of mold divide. Um, so maybe some of you are thinking about getting mold divide, have worked with mold divide. I have told you guys before that one day I will share my Moldavite story. Um, that was the great epiphany slash awakening slash just blow it all up and start over of a few years ago. So I'll share that with you guys one day, but you'll have to let me know if you're um, working with Moldavite. I mindlessly started shuffling these cards. So um, I didn't even tell you guys to start thinking of your question, but without even thinking, reflect further for the outcome came up. So let's pull three. Um, you guys can think of three questions and we'll get you three cards. Or if you just want to do one question, it's up to you. Feel free to pause the reading while you think about those. Um, only take the messages if they feel like they're for you. And let's get you some answers. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Can we get answers to their questions? Number one, please, Spirit. First one two, three. Okay. All right. So for the first one, we have cast that spell. So that to me feels like continue manifesting this. Then we have number two is trust you already know. And number three is realize it's already yours. So there's all kinds of yeses coming through with that. Let's put those there. All right. We have a Zai. Hi, Zai. We have VP, someone's vice president, RC, RCM. Someone here could have a lot of childhood friends or like friends that they've known for a really long time that they grew up with or friends from like, yeah, that they've just known for a long time. We have XL, someone's extra, someone's extra large. I don't know. We have Q and a K. Someone, queen and king. Yeah, someone, yeah, we have queen and king energy. So you could look at this person and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're definitely a king or they think you're a king, you're a queen. Someone could be the king and queen of their own like company or their own place. 
especially with that VP head head of something. Earlier, I was picking up almost like head of family. M H. Mexico, New Mexico coming through. All right. That is what I have for you today. My group number ones. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you picked a sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. <laughs> today, we're going to be looking into who fumbled the bag with you, who fumbled you, who has regrets in this situation, friends. We're going to be looking into this person and what exactly is it they're regretting with you about the current circumstances or maybe something they did or something that happened between you guys. And then we'll be looking into what is it that they want to say or what is it that they wish um, was different in this situation. Keep in mind this topic, you know, it's the first time we cover it, but I do acknowledge that it can be triggering, especially if, you know, um, depending on what this person, what happened with this person. So I'm just, you know, forewarning just in case if you start to get triggered or anything like that, or if uh, it's confusing or, you know, friends, just feel free to click off of the reading. Um, my group number twos, let's get to it. Let's see this person that fumbled things with you. Oh Lord. <laughs> let's see what they have to say for themselves. Thank you spirit for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please spirit. My group number two is, what can you tell us about this person that has regrets with my group number two? What can you tell us about this person that has regrets about the current circumstances or situation between them and my group number two? Who has regrets? Who is this? Thank you, spirit. Messages from my group number two. Is, what can you tell us about this person that fumbled it with my group number two? What is it they regret? What can you tell us about this person? Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us? All right. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Strength in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse. So immediately, I'm already kind of getting that this person didn't have the courage to either let you like emotionally in or this could even be like take things past just being fun with you just being social there's a feeling here of they regret some they regrets about how they approached an opportunity that they had with you and it's almost like they may have viewed this as being something very surface level. Why the Ten of Swords in reverse? This is someone who has a really strong either crush on you or really, really likes you. This is someone who feels very comfortable in your presence. Yeah, they do feel like they're someone who is definitely either been in your home or you guys have shared uh you know being in a in certain spaces together because it feels like they think back on this they think back to when you guys were together or at an event or at your at someone's home they specifically think back to this time when they think of a regret that they have why the Ace of Cups? You guys were hanging out. You guys were having fun and you guys were talking and they pretended like they didn't have feelings for you. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Other people could have been around. Why the Eight of Wands? They had to hide how they felt. They regret not... It, it's almost like they regret not doing more. They regret like not making something more obvious as well. Almost like they, they regret like internalizing instead of like letting you know that they liked you or they care about you or they're, you know, there's something more heartfelt here that they're like, I wish I wouldn't have pretended or I wish that I wouldn't have 
Yeah, there's definitely, I wish I wouldn't have something. I'm trying to pick up on what that something is. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles and this Hermit. This person could have thought too long about the opportunity and before they knew it, their time was up or before we knew it, something was decided for them. Now, this person, they could also, like, even if this wasn't just in a one-time, like, event, meaning, uh, you know, that it's not that you guys were out this one time and they regret not sharing how they feel. It's like, this could have been, this could be the dynamic between you guys, that you guys get together, you have a great time, you know, great conversation, but there's almost like something here that they're like, they're just keeping it in and they're just almost waiting for the perfect opportunity or they're waiting for that chance to arrive, but it's almost like they missed it or in doing so they ended up kind of for lack of better words, friends, they ended up kind of fucking themselves up in some way. Probably this is where the fumble is. There's the fumble. Cause look, uh, what is that called guys when in football, they're all lined up the plays, right? Yeah, there's plays. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. So the, it was, it was there guys. It was set up. It was set up for them. All they had to do was just go through and just, you know, catch it, run with it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This person, this person, uh, yeah, they thought longer. I don't know. So things were set up for them and they didn't, and they didn't uh, do anything. And that's what they think back on. And like I said, and it almost feels like there's a specific point that they reference back to where they were pretending not to have feelings. All right. Why the nine of pentacles in reverse? What can you tell us about this person and what they regret? The nine of pentacles in reverse. The emperor, because they didn't, they didn't, um, interesting. So I am getting someone that likes to keep things surface level. And I am getting someone that possibly, um, a couple of things coming through. They either have a history of, you know, not liking to commit and just being very surface level, very social, um, you know, but I feel like this person's like, a, they kind of keep themselves out. It's almost like the, the consequences of their actions. They know that something here is consequences of their own actions and that has them on the outside looking in like that has them feeling like left out or lonely or not enough. Maybe this is how they felt like that you guys don't have alone time for some of you. Now for others of you, this person regrets, um, not being able to be more serious because they're having some kind of difficulty, um, when it comes to either money or, um, yeah, it could be money. This person's also very stubborn about maybe being single or independent or codependency or what that means, or I don't know, maybe they're working on, again, their wealth with all of this, but if they are, it's because they're having some kind of challenge. Now, this does feel like someone that hasn't been like upfront. And they've just held back. You feel a strong connection with this person. You feel drawn to them. They feel drawn to you. I saw two of cups, queen of wands. Four of swords, six of swords. You could be on a break and moving on from them. This person has regrets over not stepping up in some way or not being able to. All right, let's see. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. What is it that they want to say to my group number twos? What is it that they wish was different in this situation and these circumstances? Messages for my group number twos. Please. What does this person want to say and what do they wish was different here? Messages for my group number twos. What do they want to say to my group number twos? What do they wish was different? What do they want to say to my group number two? 
What do they want to say? That they fumble. <laughs> Look at literally two of pentacles in reverse. They dropped it. They had an opportunity and they know it. They didn't give you what you needed. And they feel like you dropped them. What is it that they want to say? This person's really in their head. They're overthinking or conflicted. They're not sure. What is it that they want to say? Oh, they don't know if they should. They, this person's overthinking a lot if they should go for it or not, if they should try or not, or if they're, if, oh, for some it's if they're enough. This person might have like, remember when I said like, Wait, is it, did I say that in this group or was it another group where they like kind of base their, their worth on that? That might be another group. But anyway, maybe that's all that, that messages of striving for more, wanting more. Emperor in reverse, five of pentacles, ace of swords in reverse, very stubborn. King of pentacles in reverse, not enough, you know? This person thinks and thinks and thinks a lot. Um, and here they are having regrets over what they did with an opportunity with you and how they didn't take it. There's the fumbling. Why the Ace of Pentacles? What do they want to say? What do they want to say? Too many. Let's try that again. Why the Ace of Pentacles? What does this person want to say? Why the Queen of Pentacles? That they want to work on this? They want to put some kind of effort that they care. They could be a water sign. Could be any sign. That King of Cups. That person's trying to say that they have feelings for you or care about you or love you. Please take that how it applies. Why the five of swords? Because I don't know what they did here. They don't know if they can commit or they don't know if they can have something stable right now. And they're not feeling very optimistic about a new beginning. There's something here that keeps them hopeless or it's hard for them to be optimistic. The current circumstances with you, they're very sad. They're feeling the loss. They're regretful. Maybe this person's like trying to build a business or something like that. And that's what they're working on. That's where all their energy is going towards. Maybe they're putting their energy towards, you know, something that also means a lot to them. But they're very torn because they don't feel like it's a, a, the best time or they don't know if they can or they don't know if you guys can get this to a stable place or take this to the next level. They're under a lot of pressure. Oh, it's their feelings. So yeah, the pressure, they feel 10 of wands because of their feelings for you. And it stresses them out, like what they truly want and what would make them happy. That part stresses them out because they don't know if they should. They don't know if they can. They don't know if you want to. They don't know if they have enough to, if they know how to make you happy. It's like all these things that this person is, is uh, kind of swirling around in their head. Why the full star in reverse? Yeah, this person's very stubborn or it's, maybe it's not that they're stubborn, but they're just not sure. They're feeling hopeless with you. Why the queen of wands with the five of cups? They want to return or they want to like close the space between you guys. They miss you. Oh, this person's got a lot of regrets. They want to heal this, but they're, they're not sure if they can, or they're not sure what to expect. So this person's almost like afraid of what truly makes them happy or what they really want because they're in this emperor mode and king of pentacles in reverse. This person, um, yeah, they might be just feeling like they don't have the time or energy 
to, you know, have more in a relationship or be committed or build something stable or get this to the next level. There is this energy here where they are torn about it, you know? It's something that they overthink a lot. So they're very much stuck in the head. This person, uh, they get stuck in their head. We got um, Leo, no surprise, Aquarius coming through. And who else? Those are, oh, um, Aquarius again and Aries with that full card. All right. This person is frustrated. This person is, is frustrated and they go from, there's a chance to, there's no way, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so this person wants a chance, but they're, they're torn up about some things. Friends, maybe that confirms some of your suspicions or just, you know, what you know of this person. I don't know. All right. Let's get you some Oracle cards. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. Regarding this person that fumbled things with my group number twos and their regrets, what can we know? Thank you, spirit. It's long journey ahead. This person, I'm telling you, I kind of feel like that 10 of wands is going to push them to maybe do something if possible. Maybe you have them blocked. I don't know. Make the first move. Um, yeah, I think that's what they're feeling and what they're thinking like peas and carrots. They feel like you guys get along really, really well. This is a connection that kind of messes with them because even if they're like talking to someone or even if they encounter someone that they have a conversation with, they think back to how different it is with you in some way. Um, how you just like get it or I don't know how you guys are compatible. Um, some things can't be undone. So there's something here that they could have done that they feel they can't return from. Um, or maybe it's like that. That's how you feel about them. We have the Oregon Trail, long journey ahead. So Pacific Northwest coming through. Um, gosh, this week at school, I don't know if you guys grew up with that. I don't think they still do that at all. Um, but long journey ahead. So maybe things have been really slow. Um, maybe this person feels like it's still going to be a long, a long journey for them. We have take the risk or lose the chance. There's that 10 of wands. Again, the pressure is building. Um, so and maybe that's that five of swords energy where they're fighting themselves on it. And then we have money is coming. Well, no surprise there because they are definitely trying to increase their monies. My group number twos, we're going to pull three message or three answer cards for you. So you guys can think of three questions. I had to slow myself down. Um, you can pause the reading if you want more time. You'll know it's an answer because you'll feel it, friends. All right, let's begin. Thank you, spirit. Can we get answers for my group number twos, please? Three questions. Can we get number one, two, and three? Oh, we got four. All right. <laughs> That's funny. You guys talk about the Lulu checkpoint. We have definitely not and beyond a doubt that came that came out together um, with the third question. So the first one was loosen your grip. So um, needing to surrender, perhaps. And then the second one is your magic is potent. So you manifesting. And then like we said, um, answer to number three is a little bit of a mixed, a little bit of a mixed bag there. All right, let's get some initials for you guys. Ugh, there's something about laying them out on that side of the table that literally makes my tummy turn. All right. <laughs> we have H-O-L, hold. Hold, home, H-N, H-N-X, Texas, next. GQ, someone's really hot, someone's GQ in it up. We have XY. That makes me think of the last, the last thing I wanted, <laughs> the last of the alphabet. The last one I would pick is a relationship right now. We have VLR. VLR. Maybe even VR. Someone could work in tech, perhaps. Also getting like Honolulu vibes. So Hawaii coming through. Holly. Grace. 
give, learn. All right. X names or a past situation holding things up. Multiple letters, so repeat letters or name your name. All right, my group number two is that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves out there, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. <laughs> today we're going to be looking into who fumbled it with you. Like, seriously, who blew it? We're going to be looking into... Um, regrets that they have in the situation with you, maybe in the current circumstances between you guys. We're also going to be looking into um, what is it that they want to say um, or they wish they could say and seeing, you know, what they wish was different in this situation between you guys. Now, group number threes, you know, we haven't done this topic before, but I am already saying I am highly aware that it could be a triggering situation, especially if this is someone who's been very frustrating. So if you happen to get triggered or if I'm not picking up on the energy that seems right to you, it might be confusing. Um, those are just indicators that it's not your story. So just keep that in mind, friends. You know what's up. All right, my group number threes, let's begin. Thank you for joining me and thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, please. This person that fumbled things with my group number threes. What can you tell us about this person and regrets that they have over what happened between them and my group number threes? What can you tell us about this person's regrets? Thank you, Spirit. Who fumbled it with my group number threes and who has regrets? What are their regrets? Thank you, Spirit. What are this person's regrets? What are this person's regrets? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What are this person's regrets? What can you tell us? Messages from my group. They don't know. Interesting. Hold on, guys. I can't tell if you're not talking to them. Uh, why am I getting this feeling that this person's like regrets? I'm about to do something. I don't know, guys. Hold on. There's something lurking in the shadows. <laughs> okay, so someone here is not happy about... Um, someone here didn't speak up and make something known. And it has to do... Someone's either in love or just really cares, okay, or just really deeply fucking cares, and didn't say anything or didn't make it known, and when they had the opportunity, or maybe there was something here about feelings being expressed and another person didn't say anything back. There's just something here that we didn't have, I didn't know, or I didn't think, or, you know, and they're not happy with the way that things are. This definitely feels, I kind of feel like some of you have stopped talking to this person and this person, it's like, they didn't know why at the time. And now they might be kind of realizing um, some things like after the fact. Messages for my group number threes. What can we know? What are this person's regrets? Yeah, someone here is blocked. Someone didn't speak or someone isn't speaking. Why the Queen of Cups? What can you tell us? Who fumbled things with group number threes? What are their regrets? What are their regrets? Why the Queen of Swords in reverse? Oh, this person is regretting that you guys aren't talking. They're heartbroken. This person's trying to clear things up or trying to figure things out. Someone could have sent mixed signals. Someone could have thought that it was clear how they felt or, but now maybe they realize that they, it wasn't at all or message was not received. They're not, there's, the, they keep saying, I don't like not talking to you or I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like this space. I'm not happy. This person is not happy and it has to do with 
being blocked and it ha communicating and not knowing how you're thinking. It's interesting because they're not telling me what they're regretful for. I know that this is what they don't like, so I guess they could regret that this is this is how things are, but I'm not specifically getting an action that they did that they're regretful for. So let's keep that in mind about this person. Or maybe it's because it applies uh, to your story in some way. So yeah, things are definitely not how this person wants them to be between you. They want more here um, and they want to take an opportunity. They see you as an opportunity. Yeah, remember when I said that that something's lurking in the shadows? Some some someone's someone's about to pop in out the woodwork is what it feels like, friends. All tower style. They're like unexpectedly, unexpectedly, I'm gonna this is gonna change. Now, the other thing is that they could feel like you unexpectedly dropped them. And they're very nervous. This person is super nervous to talk to you. They're anxious. They think about this late at night. You know what? If you guys blocked them the night that they saw that, <laughs> I think they went into a little bit of a cold sweat. I don't think they slept very well. And by the time they fell asleep, they were tired. And when their alarm rang, it, they were like, why am I so tired? And then a second later, they remembered, oh, shit, group three blocked me. <laughs> what happened here? This person, they either didn't prioritize something or they were emotionally distant. This person, okay, so they are, when I, I am getting a regret here, <clears throat> but it's almost like they're I'm not saying it as I, I regret because I could have done different. It's almost like a, I know this is how I am. And so now I need to go clean it up. Remember when I said, let's keep in mind that they're not specific about what they're regretful for is because it's almost like I got to go fix this. I'm going to fix this. And this is something that this person kind of knows about themselves or, you know, there is accountability in that way. But let's just say the main thing that they're, look how my throat keeps wanting to close. The main thing that they are regretful about is you going cold on them or someone created distance and that got them a little shooketh. Then they kind of spiral. Then they were like group number three met someone or group number three is involved in something else that, that you know, I don't know. Like, all, it's just all this stuff. So this person, they want to come in and invest some time here, but they don't know how to do that. They get real nervous. They want to figure out how... I kind of feel like they want to talk to you. Like this doesn't feel like message. This feels like let's talk. And if possible, like in person, if that's not possible for you, then you know, that's not possible for you, but this person wants to talk to you. All right, let's look into this ace of swords in reverse with this magician. Thank you, spirit messages for my group number threes, please. What are these regrets that this person has? Yeah, this person self-sabotages. They didn't put effort into this. They didn't make things clear. They recognized that they did things that made it seem like they weren't like serious about you or about this or took you serious or liked you back or wanted to be a part of your life, like whatever, you know, whatever this um, situation was between you guys. But something definitely took them by surprise, guys. We have Scorpio and Pisces and Capricorn. This person's very attracted to you. They still want an opportunity with you. Like I said, it almost feels like they're like, okay, <laughs> I got to fix this. I was getting that from that the very beginning. All right. Thank you, Spirit. 
what does this person, what do they want to say? Or what do they wish was different? Well, I think we already know what they wish was different here, huh? Messages for my group number threes, please. What does this person want to say to them? A message from this person to my group number threes, please. A message from this person to my group number threes. What is it that they want to say? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. A message from this person to my group number threes. What is it that they want to say? What do they wish was different? What do they want to say? <sighs> They've uh, realized something's been made clear to them about what they want in their long term. They've also realized like that even if they're like successful or feeling stable, like they're not happy. And there's something here that they've realized about that. And it's related to your connection. So maybe it's you not talking to them, like they don't want that. And maybe they've realized that they view you as someone that um, they want you to be a part of their life for a long time or um you know maybe you guys have known each other for a long time and they feel like they want to grow with you and they don't want there to be this miscommunication it's almost like they're like i didn't show you that i care but i do or i didn't show you that i felt the same but i do and because of that they feel like you withdrew perhaps this person is super nervous. I think I already told you guys that this person stresses or has thought about this a lot late at night. This person, they feel some sense of freedom when it comes to things that weren't working or how they felt stuck in the past. So you've helped bring things into clarity and you've also helped them see how past behaviors or people that they were keeping around or connections or trying to keep the surface level. It's like something's like been loud and clear. And it happened because of either this separation or whatever happened between you guys. They don't want to have regrets here. They want to fight for this. We'll see why the two of swords. There's some indecision here by the three of pentacles. They're not sure if you want the same. That's what it is. They, and they're also not sure how everything would work out or if it can work out. They're worried about distance for some of you. If there's a physical distance, then you know that that's a thing. Um, tower. There's something very unexpected here. They're going to take some kind of chance towards you or some kind of unexpected uh, olive branch, maybe. Maybe that's what they, they, they want to know. All of this is stemming from a tower moment that made them realize some things. And this is also um, realizations. So whatever tower moment happened between you guys, it led to a realization on their part of um, behaviors or people or things that were addictions or uh, no longer like serving them, that devil energy. It was toxic connections or um, some kind of codependency. And I feel like all of this is kind of coming to the surface for them. Because maybe they were used to coping or dealing with um, life in a certain way. And they thought that, you know, oh, I'm not going to miss group three or like, oh, it doesn't matter if group three doesn't want to talk to me. And then after a while, their coping mechanisms, they were like, oh, shit, this actually isn't filling the void of what is going on with group three. So it's almost like they stopped turning to those things because it was just pointless whatever those patterns or behavior were. Let's see why the two of swords with the ten of cups. Why the two of swords with the ten of cups, please. Justice. They want to make something right. But there's something here about timing or consistency. Oh. They want to like do right by you. 
and there's something here that they admit that is going to, they don't have all the answers. They don't know how everything's going to work, but they want to like figure out a way. Why the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Three of Pentacles? What is this? What is this they're not sure about? Why the Ace of Swords in reverse? One more. They, they want to know what you have to say. They're ready for some kind of truth that maybe they've been avoidant to. They're almost like ready to have this conversation with you. And they want to see where you're at. And if you're willing to build with them, if you still want this, if you're really ignoring them, there's almost this energy of, are you really ignoring me? Anything else? Why the three of wands? They're nervous to travel towards you or come towards you. They're scared of failure. They're scared of not succeeding. But they rather try than to miss out. Well, they see you as all these beautiful things, collective, empress, queen of wands, you know, um, this person is nervous, but I'm telling you this, something's lurking, <laughs> something's lurking. At least this person is waiting until after Mercury went, went direct, right? <laughs> it's a timeless reading, but you know, all right. That's even if you want to deal with them, but it feels like it ain't over. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number three. So let's get you guys some oracle cards. Messages for my group number three, please. Regarding this person that fumbled it. Fumbled it with my group number three. Someone iced them out. Did you ice them out? Someone got iced out. The playlist was trash anyway. Someone got tired of the same old, same old. We have okay big ballers. Someone here is very successful or is working on their success. Like to spend money. We have accept the truth no matter how bitter. So this person, they had to accept some truths. Um, whatever happened between you guys, it did lead to, to some kind of realizations that this person was probably not very happy to be having, but now they got to do something about it. All right, we have salty AF. Someone could have been feeling salty in this situation. That could have been the truth. Um, that maybe this person at first did feel salty over you withdrawing or whatever happened between you guys. And we just got a ding um, to confirm that. But um, I think they quickly, maybe not so quickly, but eventually they did realize that they had to accept their own truth, that maybe it was consequences of their own actions or of behaviors that they already know, um, you know, like I said, that they already know they, they exhibit. Then we have, did you forget again that you always bounce back? So someone here wants to bounce back. Um, all right. Friends, you guys, uh, we're going to pull three cards so you guys can um, think of three different questions or just one and get confirmation. Only take the answers if you feel like they apply and pause the reading if you need more time to think about your questions. Thank you, Spirit, for all these messages from my group number three. So can we get um, three answers, please? First question. Two. Three. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So for the first one, it says you're in alignment for the second one beyond a doubt. And three is trust. It will manifest. You got three yeses in my opinion, three confirmations. All right. Let's get you guys some letters and let's move these over because literally my tummy turns if I change the setup around. I don't know, guys. It's, uh, you know, TikTok has me convinced I'm on the spectrum. And honestly, I, it makes sense. It makes a lot more sense. All right. We have Des. So uh, Desiree. But also Des as in like desert. It's been dry, perhaps. This person's thirsty for you. We have COD coming through. Someone could be a gamer. Someone could be military. God. God, COD, yeah, God and country. Someone could definitely be um, proud in that way. We have goddess as well. This person sees you as a goddess. We have will. Why? Why that? Why, why them? Maybe you thought, why them? 
F Y for you. Uh, maybe you popped up on this person's for you page. Um, even if you guys don't follow each other, maybe this person saw you pop up on someone else's page or something. Listen, friends, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourself, friends, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.